Hello and Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Diwali, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. From Midden Cliff. Last year when we did this, we apologized profusely. We had never done a Christmas letter. We had never done, certainly, a Christmas video. And we uh, sort of apologized for burdening you with one last year. This year we're not going to do that. We had so much fun doing this video that we're going to subject you to another one. The, we planned a year of revenge travel and we lived up to all of the revenge we could. After two years of being locked away with COVID, we had three major trips. It was an up and down year, wildly up and wildly down, but we survived it and mid dragged us all over the world. It started out in Africa. We had a safari with four of our good friends, spent a week on safari, then a couple of weeks in Cape Town. We ended our trip by getting on a cruise ship and going up the west coast of Africa to Portugal, one of our favorite places to visit. It took us four weeks, enjoyed every minute of it. Before we even started, on the safari. We ended up in Durban. It's a long story and we won't burden you with it, but we met Sarita and her family, a Rotarian in Durban, and we had a ball, met some wonderful people there that we're still in contact with and hope that uh, Sarita and VJ will be able to visit us soon here in the US. The, uh, the trip to the safari was interesting. Uh, we traveled with Ernie Calquette and Olga Clayton, uh, Patricia Haddad, and uh, we did manage to get all five of the big five. We, we went out the first drive, the afternoon, I think it was, that we got to uh, uh, Zulu Niala, and we saw more giraffe than you could believe. We stopped taking pictures of giraffes and zebras. They were so plentiful. The next day, Ron and and uh, Pat caught up with us and we had an outstanding drive, but we hadn't gotten a lion. The last day before we had to leave uh, Zulu Niala, we managed to get a lion in another preserve close to the one that we were driving in. It was quite an experience. And then, as Mid said, we were on to Cape Town. We were on to Cape Town. And while in Cape Town, not only did we get to visit some of the most iconic sites in South Africa, including a good dose of wine tasting, we also managed to meet up with our global scholar, Rotarian. Abby is from the Inverness Club here in Florida. Cape Town was a hoot. One of our favorite places was Bocap. Bocap is this little community that was actually slave quarters in parts of it. And we met a wonderful couple who ran an online cooking school. In fact, we participated in it. And I must tell you, but we couldn't figure out how to pay them. We were here at our house with the uh, uh, six of the eight of us who were going. We couldn't figure out how to pay them. And I finally said, well, we're going to be in Cape Town in about two weeks. So why don't we meet and we'll pay you then by your lunch? They said, okay. And we were just flabbergasted. So we met in, in Bocap. They live in Bocap. Uh, his mother has run a, a, a restaurant in Bocap for years and years, and they were a delight. Absolute delight. And Bocap is a beautiful little community anyway. All of the houses are painted different, very bright, vibrant colors. So Instead of giving an address, for example, you could say, I live in the yellow house next door to the purple house, and people would know exactly where you were going to be. It's a lovely community. And one of the beauties of Bocap is looming above it is Table Mountain. One of my favorite things in Cape Town, because Table Mountain has a tablecloth on it. <clears throat> it's a thick uh, cloud layer, and, it's, and it swirls, and then it slides down the mountain with this misty, mysterious, just beautiful, uh, it's over the edge of the mountain. We had a couple of tours while we were in Cape Town, stayed in Sea Point in a beautiful uh, four bedroom, four bath house, uh, sitting up on a hill. 
The house was wonderful. We ended our time in Cape Town and headed to sea. We left Cape Town, got on the boat, and headed up the west coast of Africa to seven countries. All of them interesting, one of them particularly interesting. We went to the market in Ghana, and we were walking through the market. We were walking through the market with Cliff just in front of me when this older lady passed by and reached back and grabbed a big hunk of Cliff's tush. <laughs> and then kept going, looked back over her shoulder with the most mischievous smile I have ever seen. It was sort of that kind of a trip up the coast. We met nice people. I don't think we met a grump the entire time. We frolicked with the monkeys. We had more penguins. It was a wonderful trip and it ended in one of our favorite cities in the entire world. Lisbon. Good food, good wine, charming people, beautiful location. We had an apartment about a block from the Alfama. When Mid and I first went to Portugal in 1997, the Alfama was off limits to tourists. You'd be pickpocketed, robbed, beaten up, maybe even murdered. We go back 25 years later in our apartment we discover is one block from the Alfama, but it's been transformed. It's now a tourist area with beautiful boutique shops, some of the tastiest restaurants you could ever hope to have. In fact, Mid got us a seven taste of 17 tastings of Portugal, which if you get a chance to go to Portugal, take the tour. Portuguese food is very good. Well, we had enough of Portugal, so uh, we headed uh, back home. We were home just a couple of weeks, headed up to the cabin because spring in the Blue Ridge Mountains is beautiful. We went to Hamilton Gardens one day 1,500 different varieties of rhododendron and azalea, and most of them were in bloom. It was just glorious. One of the joys of our cabin and its location is good hiking and good outside outdoors activities. But North Georgia and the Blue Ridge Mountains really are sort of showy places, uh, both in the spring and in the fall when the crepe myrtles absolutely go crazy. It's beautiful. But we didn't stay there long. We came back to Tarpon Springs, gathered up uh, Kyle Reese, Brock Reese, Marissa Torres, and Taylor Chalfin, and we all headed to Imperia, Italy. Imperia is in the very northwest corner of Italy. Very northwest. The um, border with France is only a couple of miles away. So we had the advantage of being close enough to Nice to visit and being close enough to Milan and Genoa to visit. I had a great uh, uh, couple of weeks <clears throat> in that uh, area. The kids, obviously, because they're still working, had to come home. So Mid and I took an apartment in Milan, went back over to Milan, drove the Alpine Highway for a bit. Uh, it's a wonderful area and I certainly hope we can get back there soon. But we had to get back to Tarpon Springs because Mid had a special project that she was working on for July 3rd, 2023. July 3rd is our anniversary and this one was the 25th anniversary. She's never divorced me once nor killed me once. But there is a committee for me. <laughs> we had a wonderful time over at one of the country clubs about a mile or two from, from our house. 40 plus people gathered. We had lunch. Uh, Bob Wallen, Joanne Wallen, Ernie Calquette, and Olga Clayton uh, combined into a quartet to serenade us with Love Potion Number Nine, <laughs> their version. And uh, they had the crowd rocking and rolling. We were also very, very touched. My son, especially, uh, spoke to his memories over the 25 or 30 years that Mid's been in our life and how much she's meant to him. And we still. Uh, feel a tightness in the chest when we think about that. Uh, one of Mid's cousins, uh, Barrett Harris, has a son named Elliot. And Elliot had been here when he was a little kid, but he didn't remember us. And he spoke to the love that he felt coming into our house as total strangers. It was that kind of day, and we appreciated every one of the people who came and celebrated our 25-year journey with us. From there, we closed up shop here and headed back north. Headed to the cabin because back in the spring, Cliff had this big idea that we would renovate. 
Well, we have this downstairs space. Uh, there, it's a walkout basement. And uh, I was building a garage up on the hill up above the house. And I said, well, we're gonna have this space. I could move my tools out of there and into the garage. We might as well do something with it. So we decided we would turn it into a den. And we got to the cabin July 8th. We spent five weeks. Now we're not spring chickens, but we still spent eight to 10 hours a day putting the cabin together. <clears throat> we, uh, we spent about a week with 15 foot tongue and groove boards because it's all a pine ceiling and uh, mid on one end of a 15 foot board and me on the other trying to figure out how we were going to shoot nails into the uh, into the ceiling and it was uh, now looking back on it it was a hoot but it we were exhausted when we finished that project not only exhausted but cliff have crippled his hand yes it's still not exactly healed but we finally got it finished. We moved a home entertainment center into a purpose-built niche for it, moved uh, the big television that Cliff and his wife Kathy helped us with, and all of a sudden it had some furniture delivered and we had a wonderful space. The house went from about 1,850 square feet to 2,400 square feet. We picked up a big oversized garage for my truck and the boat, and I ended up with a 14 by 24 foot shop that I intend to use. I moved most of my woodworking tools up there. But as must be done, we came home because we had another adventure uh, that the travel lady had set up for Trip us. Trip number three. Trip number three was a flight from here to Venice. Eight friends. We arrived in Venice, stayed a couple of days there, two or two and then got on the ship and started sailing down the Adriatic into the Mediterranean, into the Ionian, into the Aegean, and having a wonderful time along the way. We were supposed to go to Israel, but just as we were getting to Cyprus, bombs started dropping. And we were and 150 miles from the Lebanon shore. So the boat turned around and we we really did not we really didn't not enjoy our the couple of days that we missed we we missed we hate that we missed going to Israel and we certainly hate the reason that we had to miss it but we also went to Heraculon and back to San Marini and if we had not gone to Heraculon we would have not found the best croissants in the whole world <laughs> Our friend Ernie Cassin, uh, 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 Coquette, who is a trained chef, said it was the best croissant he'd ever had in his life. I mean, huge, the, the slab of butter, we watched them make the croissants that they put in those croissants, was enough to give you a heart attack. It was a delightful uh, uh, 28 days, I think, almost a month, on the road. We had not traveled with uh, Dave and Shelley Malone from Toronto, Canada, and they turned out to be great people to travel with. Ernie and Coquette and Olga Clayton, Ron Haddad and Patricia Haddad, six of us had traveled. We added the Malones and had a wonderful time. But as all things must, it ended and we came home and we weren't sorry to come home at all. After all, this is Tarpon Springs and it's party central. Especially this time of year. We got home uh, October 28th and we've been going crazy ever since. As we do, and Ned and I do this just about every year, we look back on our year, and I'm telling you, we get up every morning and one of us says, we are blessed. If you're watching this video, you are one of those blessings. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Diwali. Whatever you celebrate, celebrate it with gusto. Know that Mid and Cliff are sitting in Tarpon Springs, thinking of you, loving you, and appreciating your friendship, your support, your companionship. You are treasured. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.